Have you seen Chris Christie trashing Trump on TV? It's amazing. So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, Chris Christie is just telling it exactly like it is when it comes to Donald Trump. He's calling him out on all the things that he lied about and his poor judgment and his immature nature. I mean, all of that, Chris Christie is laying it out bare. Now, the problem I have is that he didn't do this while he was part of the Trump cabinet. And, you know, he's waited until now. And what is now? It's after four years of presidency, after a couple of years of Biden, uh, after Trump has been indicted twice. We remember, indicted means arrested. And uh, it's after all of this, and now that he's deciding, Chris Christie is deciding to run for president, that he's finally able or willing, actually, to talk about who Trump really is. And some people believe that there are actually some folks behind the scenes uh, who are uh, financing Christie, uh, donating to his campaign, I suppose, uh, knowing uh, they know and Christie knows that he's not going to be elected, but they just want the truth to get out. So apparently, uh, perhaps, there are some Republican uh, donors who are willing to contribute to Christie uh, if he will just keep trashing Trump and maybe, in fact, it will work, and he might get the nomination, and he might end up uh, running against, uh, you know, Trump for the the Republican uh, nod. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I hope that's true. Uh, more, I hope it's true that uh, Christie is just wanting to tell the truth. I kind of don't think that's the case, because then he would have done that uh, all along. So that's what the video will be about. I think I'm going to try to make this a particularly uh, video, longer video than I usually do, and we'll see how that works out. But I really want to delve into all of this stuff about Chris Christie. I want to, really want the cards to tell me as much as they can, so I'm willing to do several draws and, uh, and interpretations. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> I really could not resist using this set of cards, which are Jolie's Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot. I mean, it's just the perfect um, venue or um, vehicle, I think, to tell this insane story that we're all living through. So let's see uh, what the cards can let us know about this. Like I said, it's amazing to me how, um, you know, Christie is saying the things that so many of us know to be true and that none of the other uh, political uh, candidates or, or voices on the Republican side were willing to say out loud. And why is that? Why won't they just talk about the truth? And, and we've heard uh, stories where that behind the scenes to other people and to each other, these Republican uh, lawmakers are saying and always had been saying that this uh, was um, a ridiculous phenomenon, that the things that Trump stood for and seemed to be pressing for were, were sadly um, idiotic. Um, and even so many of them, when he was running for president, if any of us can remember back that far, I guess 2015, um, you know, some of them, like Lindsey Graham especially, were saying, no, he's, he's horrible, he's bad, I could never vote for him. And then, like Lindsey Graham, many of them turn out to be his poodles, you know, they just fell in line and did exactly whatever he wanted them to do. And I presume it's for the money that he uh, was was able to maybe fund toward their campaign. It was because they didn't want him uh, to attack them in front of the part of his supporters that were willing to vote for them or be on their side, I guess. But um, before we do any of that, let's take just a moment for meditation because I think we're going to need it. OK, 
Okay, let's see how this works out. I didn't, I, you know, I usually do a long, longer at least meditation before I draw the cards, but I've been noticing that uh, the interpretations um, seem to be coming um, with my just getting in the right mindset. So I'm, this is kind of a little test. I didn't do a long uh, meditation beforehand. Really the only meditation I've done is the one that you just witnessed, that little short one. And all I'm doing when I do that is I'm repeating the words that you see on that page uh, in my mind and at the same time, you know, kind of asking for help for, you could call them guides, I guess, but from some um, angels or people who are important to me who have passed on. And, um, and that has seemed to be effective, in my opinion, anyway. But the question I want to ask, so Chris Christie, let's see. Let's see if the cards can tell us. Let's start out with why. Why didn't he say these things before? Why didn't Chris Christie, you know, tell us the truth that he was witnessing, that he's now saying that he witnessed and, and talking about what he saw going on at the time? Why didn't he do that at the time? Three cards for that. So, Chris Christie, why didn't you, you know, say those things? Why didn't you let us know at the time? One, two, three. So Chris Christie, you know, why didn't you let us know? How could you stand by and not say the truth? Um, okay, so this is the Four of Cups. The cups are compassion, emotion, heartfelt situations. Uh, the you can think of them as a hearts in a playing deck. So cups, and the four of cups is being offered something that you don't particularly want. You can see this guy is bent up like a pretzel um, with his emotions, staring, uh, glaring really at this cup that's being offered to him. And it's interesting that's being offered to him from an elephant's trunk. And what does an elephant signify? It's the GOP. It's the Grand Old Party. It's the Republican Party. So it looks like there's there's some elephant that's wanting to stay out of the picture, okay? And he's handing this cup of um, emotional situation to this fellow who I'm going to say has to be Chris Christie. And my question was, why didn't he tell us beforehand when it was going on? But I feel like this card has gone right to present day and is telling us that some Republican entity is handing him the authority to talk about this uh, emotional situation and he kind of was bent over you can see his hands on his face like this where he's like thinking about it uh, right here and uh, staring glaring at that at that cup so for me this one is starting is talking more about present day but my question really was um, why didn't he talk about it at the time so first card something that he really didn't want to take um, ah, okay. The next card is Temperance. What is Temperance? Again, it's, there's cups here. This is a major arcana card, but there's, there are cups here who we know are emotional. And, uh, we see the, the twins kind of measuring, uh, balancing out, uh, tempering what's in those cups till it comes to a reasonable, uh, temperature, you could say, that you could use or present. So the first card is not really wanting to to accept this thing from that uh, GOP, from the elephant's trunk, that Republican, perhaps. In the next card is tempering. So maybe it's saying that, that, that he's given this time that he's had all these years, what, six years? Maybe seven, if you think about before, uh, when, he, when Trump was campaigning in, in 15 and in, in summer 14, I guess, is that there need to be a temperance. And the last card is why Chris Christie, why didn't you say these things when they were happening? King of Cups. All these cards are emotional cards. And because now, okay, now he has agreed to be, he has been elected, he has, uh, for this position, he's been chosen, I should say, because kings aren't elected. They're kind of chosen. They feel like they have a, uh, a godly um, authority. So now he feels like, like he's posed in the card here, okay. I can do this now. I will. I have been chosen, and I will do it. So he didn't do it before. Don't know exactly why. I guess he's doing it now. It, it's being offered to him, 
he's tempering the situation or maybe the situation needed tempering and now he is able to be the king of that uh, those emotional situations so but didn't really answer why he didn't before but it kind of let us know why he's doing it now I want to know from again a small draw if at the time that Trump was lying and cheating and stealing and playing with our democracy sorry those are my opinions um, why um, why not why I want to know if Chris Christie understood the danger that all that if you want to call it game playing if you want to call it lying if you want to call it manipulation um, how was he did he did he not understand the damage it was doing at the time so let's say that so Chris Christie did you not understand the damage the hardship the uh, that those that Trump's actions and were, were causing at the time did you not understand that or did you understand it perhaps the cards can let us know uh, either way so again three more cards just for that and these few first few draws are just kind of get us into the subject and try to <coughs> define a little bit how Christie got to this place we wanted to know why now we're going to know uh, if he understood uh, the damage one two Chris Christie did you understand the damage uh, of Trump's actions these politicians uh, may have made a living of uh, toying with our emotions of uh, playing our um, our perceptions to their advantage that's what the politicians do and Chris Christie was a lawyer he was a government uh, prosecutor and he um, was has always been a politician so his craft his uh, what he has done for a living the m major part of his life has been understanding how to toy or balance or use uh, public opinion or pu public perception to his advantage to win his point his case his situation so um, did you understand Chris Christie how damaging this was at the time so we have the six of cups again a very emotional card and the funny thing is that this clown this clown is offering this emotional uh, situation disguised in a bouquet to this innocent okay so it seems like it was and, and the six of cups is remembering how things were in the past so in the past when politicians were toying with our perceptions um, it worked out in such a way that wasn't quite so destructive so maybe this is a, a hint to that that's just what's coming to me when I see this card is remembering how things were in the past so did he understand how destructive these things were maybe he was still using the barometer of things well we've always done things this way this is a little more extreme what Trump's doing saying representing but this is how we do things that's how we've always done things we've always done things politically perhaps particularly the Republican Party now the next one here is the Knight of Wands did you understand how destructive uh, these uh, actions these situations Trump was presenting at the time did you understand and the night uh, wands of course are uh, actions plans forward movement and the knight is gonna fight for those plans he's gonna hammer those plans into the ground here in this picture uh, he's a strong man and he's going to set up that circus tent and what do we hear the political parties referring to their group as as their tent their circus tent they're gonna set up uh, the Republican tent of nominees so did you understand how how damaging it was at the time it was all just part of the structure it was all just part of how this uh, political game is played perhaps that's what uh, his, his barometer was and then the last card uh, is the five of cups finally so the five of cups is again look at how emotional these cards have been is having uh, spilt a lot of these issues a little bit left to continue on with and this clown is staring down at that his flowers drooped in his hand he's um, you know stopped in his tracks and he's looking at what he's lost and as soon as he realizes or remembers that there's a little bit more to go 
with a little more emotion to use to continue his whatever he's doing, uh, then he will pick up those cups and go on. I'm going to add one more card to this to see if Chris Christie understood the damage that that was doing right off the top. And the Queen of Coins, there was value in his um, consideration at the time in adding up the numbers, looking at the money, looking at the value of the situation, which was considerable. Look, there's are stacks of bills here. There's important coins that this accountant is entering into the uh, books. And so it's, this was valuable. There was value in those lies. And so he was willing to exploit that value. So that's, did he understand the damage? I think like so many of these politicians, and on both sides of the, of the table really, but like so many of those politicians, he was weighing, he was uh, considering the value and willing to uh, hang on to it to put it in the books. So did he, did he understand the damage? I don't think he fully did. I think it was all just part of the game, perhaps. Um, is he being compensated somehow for coming out against Trump uh, you know by some uh, guiding uh, persons or parties or individuals or donors or, or you know as some entity and we get in this uh, just fell out of the deck the world card which is the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new and my question is uh, are there people uh, uh, you know, backing him, paying him, supporting him, encouraging him to come out against Trump, whether or not he's, he thinks he can uh, win the Republican nomination. And we get that this is the end. Okay, he's detecting that this is an end of a cycle and the beginning of something new. And he's willing to jump in on it. I'm going to say that's what that was. But um, so, are there folks who are actually supporting paying, encouraging uh, Christie to in specific uh, reveal the truth about Donald Trump. Sorry my glasses keep falling down. It's something that always happens and uh, I hate, you know, maybe I should get a little strap to hold it to my head or something. I'll think about that. But uh, I, so I can just be completely old and decrepit. Uh, anyway, so uh, three cards are there entities? Are there communities, people, organizations, donors who are encouraging, paying, making it uh, uh, possible for Christie to tell the truth now? First card. Well, the King of Swords. So Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And this is the King of Swords. You couldn't get a stronger advocate for that Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law uh, than the king of swords. So this guy's saying, hey, come on in the tent. He's saying, I've got a show for you here. You're, you won't believe what you're gonna see. And, and, and this guy is trying to tell you that what I'm showing you is the truth. It's the real thing. Although he's got kind of one eye closed, almost a wink, if you look right here, uh, so that he can see speaking out of the side of his mouth. Do you see how crooked his mouth is right here? So this, although he's the king of swords, which is truth, justice, rules, and law, he's giving it to us with kind of a wink and talking out the side of his mouth. Um, but that's, that's who, that's who is uh, enabling Christie to tell these truths right now. So tell these truths, okay, and come on inside the tent. So there's someone, there are some entities that are in fact uh, serving as this king of the truth, telling Christie, Christie's inside the tent telling the truth, and they want to encourage us to come in and listen to what he's saying. So yeah, there are um, enablers for Christie to do this. The next card is the king of coins. And what are coins? Coins are value, they're money. And I think they are money in this case. And this is the king of coins. He's the most, uh, the strongest authority in the coin suit that you can get. So yeah, why and who is because he's getting paid. And uh, there are folks who are doing that. And what's the last card as to uh, whether he's getting paid? Um, look at this, a whole basket full 
of truth, justice, rules, and law. This is the Ten of Swords. This is um, a dangerous situation, the Ten of Swords. It's, um, I want to give you a really good definition. So once I get uh, kind of cranked up in the uh, interpretation, sometimes my mind is uh, quiet to some other, things. so transition, decay, release. Yeah, so this is transition then. This is saying, yeah, this is the time. Okay, there are uh, entities who are um, telling Christy to come on in the tent and be the show. It's backed up by money, by the King of Coins, and it's a transition period, and somebody, some group, including Christy, has realized that, and they're jumping on that bandwagon. So yeah, there are folks who are encouraging Christy specifically to do this in this time of transition, and it's a valuable thing that they're willing to pay for. So now the, let's do this. Let's go ahead and do a dyadic uh, cross, which is six cards. It's the precursor to a Celtic cross, which is four more cards. So we'll do a dyadic cross and see if we want to expand it or if we want to do another uh, read all together um, on this. But this dyadic cross, I want to know really, um, is this going to be successful? Is, uh, it's in combination with other things that are happening to Trump legally right now. All the indictments, all the arrests, okay? Remember, indictments are arrests. You're booked, okay? You are officially arrested on your way to being judged a criminal. Who of us wants to be in that situation for any reason? So, what can the cards in a dyadic cross Tell us about this journey of Chris Christie. Uh, I don't want to presume that uh, it's good or bad. I want to see what the cards tell us about this Christie, uh, this Christie, this journey of Chris Christie right now that involves, you know, really trashing Donald Trump. And so to do that, I'm going to start with six cards. That's six. Okay. One, two, Listen, I want to remind you that I talk about these cards in more detail at the end of the video. So if you're interested in them or you just want to see more of them because I lay them all out, you can do that. I don't get paid for that. It's just something I wanted to see when I was just being a viewer. And so that's why I'm doing that for you now. And uh, so wait till the end of the video, near the end of the video anyway. And I'll go over these cards specifically. And also, listen, if you haven't subscribed or if you haven't liked the video or if you haven't shared the video or rung the bell, you know, do those things. I get... Um, more uh, often than I'd like to, uh, notes from uh, viewers in the comments, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, that say, oh, I haven't seen your videos in a while, and uh, I wonder what was happening. Well, because you're not subscribing, and you're not clicking the bell, uh, and maybe it would help me if you would like the videos, because it helps other people find us, me and the algorithm, whatever that means, um, then, you know, you're not going to get it. so do that <laughs> that's all i can say do that it helps me it's, if you're interested in seeing the stuff it helps you and it doesn't cost anybody anything well it actually cost me um uh, i'm at the point now where i'm getting paid a tiny little bit of revenue from youtube i think uh, 11 dollars so far so don't think that uh, i'm getting rich on this it's the people who have hundreds of uh, thousands of subscribers who are doing it who can make a living but i just do this because i like to it's a hobby and I feel like I have this um, insight somehow. But anyway, so um, the, what can the cards and six cards tell us about this journey that Christy is on right now? The signifier card is, look at that. I love when the cards repeat. You'll always hear me say it, because that means to me, what it means is that the cards know how I'm going to interpret this card. They've already showed it to me. I've interpreted it a certain way. And this is telling me, okay, we, we know how you're going to interpret this card. So we're going to use this card to help you tell the story. And so this is the Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight is the fighter of that suite of wands, which are actions and plans. And the signifier card of this is, uh, and we just want to know about Chris's journey. And so this has to be Chris Christie. He's fighting for those actions. The, well, we'll see how that pans out. The challenge to this then is, uh, look at this, the Nine of Cups. And uh, the Nine of Cups is a, a uh, they like to call it the greedy merchant, okay? So there is a ton of emotional value and the challenge to this is presenting it in a way that uh, makes it palatable okay that people will appreciate and understand so the challenge to being this night is is showing everybody all your emotional value that you've got on display in those those uh, trophies 
on your shelf. The challenge is to showing it in the right way. The um, base of this whole reading then uh, as to the journey, Chris, is look at this, it's emotion. It's a great big emotional journey. Not just for Chris Christie, maybe not even for Chris Christie, for those of us who are receiving that message from him. In the past uh, of this, in this, yeah, in this four of wands, remember wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And, and we were talking about the circus tent. They talk about coming to our tent of the Republican Party, coming to our tent of the uh, Democratic Party. So yeah, these actions and plans were what was holding up the tent in the past. Those actions and plans of Donald Trump. They seemed to be what was holding up the tent for the Republican Party. But that was in the And look at that. You even have uh, elephants, GOP uh, uh, representatives uh, in there to show us, to, to verify to us. Yeah, we're talking about the tent, the Republican tent that's being held up by the actions that Trump was taking in the past. No good anymore. In the sky of this reading, then, is look at this. Okay, the journey uh, Christie is taking uh, in, in making the decision to speak the truth. There's a decision that had to be made, truth and justice, rules and law, one way or the other. Major arcana, but it's very low in the, um, well, it's not a major arcana either. It's just a two of swords, uh, but it's very low in the deck. It's the beginning of that decision, and you have to decide, am I going to go this way? Am I going to go that way? I can get fried in this electric chair if I do, and there's a way to turn this on and turn it off. And I really have to consider what I'm doing. But to some extent, this person is strapped in. Look, there's a strap around their legs. You have to make a choice. But you have to remember that everything in the circus of Sideshow Tarot is an illusion. When you go to the circus, uh, you're seeing some skilled acrobats who actually know what they're doing. But sometimes you're seeing illusion. So that's in the sky. And then... Um, the final outcome for this first part, I'm going to go ahead and make it a whole uh, Celtic cross. I can't resist. The final part in this journey of Chris Christie so is right here. And this is the eight of uh, coins. And the eight of coins is, coins again are value or money. And uh, the eight of coins is just an abundance of that. It's really practicing your craft to get it just right. Notice this person is embellishing his bandwagon. Okay, he's embellishing his wagon with all of this value, all of this uh, money, okay? He's encrusting it. He's showing it to everyone. And um, so the likely outcome of that is that this is financially a smart thing for Chris to do personally at this point. So I think nothing uh, in his life, and this will, I think this is just my opinion, but nothing in Chris Christie's life is, it's all about survival and and accumulating uh, enough wealth to support his family, to support himself. So very, um, so he's not the guy who would be doing something charitable for no um, end benefit. I'm going to do another um, diet, uh, Celtic cross, and I got to tell you, right now, all of this that's happening at this moment is automatic. I had no intention of picking up those cards and putting them back into the deck. I expected to continue on and make a, a Celtic cross out of that, those six cards. But something just took over, and I just started um, uh, reassembling the cards. And uh, so I'm just going to let that uh, continue, and we'll see how this works out. So the journey of Chris Christie in a full Celtic cross right now, we've gotten some very interesting reveals uh, so far. So, uh, 10 cards. I want to take them six and then another four. So, 10 cards, more about this journey, Christy Assange. Four, five, can't remember that I'm drawing up to six, and then six. I tell you what, I tell people all the time getting old is not for sissies. I mean, the memory starts going, the looks start going, um, all the cognitive stuff. So, signifier card, more about this journey of Chris Christie. Okay, it's a show. So these, and again, cups, amazing. Cups, 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 cups right here. These are celebrations, but uh, they're riding that, if you want to think about a donkey for the Democratic Party, it's a horse actually, but it does bring to mind. So these celebrations, the Democrats are celebrating this revelation 
that uh, Christy is, is willing to put out. That's the signifier. Uh, Chris's journey on telling the truth about Trump. The challenge to that is, look at this, the challenge to that is remembering how things were in the past. Emotionally remembering how things were in the past. So the challenge to ha having this celebration now is just remembering, hey, we need to be cautious because this has not been a good ride. We haven't been able to trust the Republicans with this information to give it out uh, uh, honestly without a veil. So that's the challenge to this celebration. Be careful about your celebration. The basis of this then with this Knight of Coins, again remember the Knights are the fighters of their deck. Coins are value, can be money. And so this is the shady guy. Look at him. He looks like a shady guy. He looks like the guy that would be outside the tent maybe selling you a scalp ticket. A ticket that he got somehow not the way he should have and he's selling it to you for either more or uh, than it would be worth because the tent's full. Or he's selling it to you at a uh, value because maybe he got it for free and he's just trying to, uh, it might not even be a good ticket. You might get to the entrance of the tent and you can't get in. You can't spend the value that he sold you. But the basis of this whole thing is the caution that comes that you need when you're dealing with someone like this, okay? When you're dealing with a knight who's fighting for the process of getting that value into his own hand, listen, we need to be careful about our, our celebrations. We need to remember that um, these people uh, weren't trust to be trusted before. In the past of this, with this page of coins, again, coins are, are value or money, and the page is the messenger of that suit. He's the guy that brings a message to court. He says, hey, um, here on this platter, I've got this message. Maybe you can do something with it. He's not the guy that decides, but he's the guy that someone has given the message to and is bringing it to court to uh, for consideration. That's in the past. So this action has already happened. This messenger has already shown up with this value and said, can you do something with it? And it turns out it's, it's a lot of snacky, a tasty, buttery, delicious popcorn. So, you know, it's not a hard sell. In the sky of this, look at that. The repeated cards. Out of all those decks, and you saw how much I shuffled that for these cards to come back again. But anyway, so in the sky of this is that choice that had to be made, and Christie made it in favor because it was financially and possibly um, in his career um, a good move. And then uh, the final outcome of the first part of this, what will be a Celtic cross, is look at this, a great big action, the Ace of Wands, the actions, plans, for the, 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 the likely outcome is that this will be a foundation of that journey. Okay, so now I'm feeling good. I'm going to do this one shuffle and then take four more cards to finish this uh, Celtic cross. So yeah, the reason he's doing this is financially and probably uh, career-wise the right thing to do for him. Personally, not so much the country. Christie is about so many of these politicians are about me. How's this going to benefit me? Um, the signifier of this card for this uh, question then is the Wheel of Fortune. It's a perfect card for, to be there because it's always a crapshoot. You know, it could work out, it couldn't work out. But we're going to notice in this uh, in this depiction here, these folks are doing pretty well. Okay, um, he's at the least. Um, this fellow here is inside the wheel, the least uh, chance to be hurt or to, and the easiest tricks would be inside the wheel. Here, this guy has climbed outside the wheel and he's starting to show you his tricks. And here, he's gaining enough confidence to embellish on those tricks, but down here, he's holding on for dear life as it comes back around. So there are more things in these three feet, people here that are positive than in this one person here who's getting ready to have to start that uh, thing over again. So the, um, the, the signifier of this is that it's a wheel of fortune, but it's weighted towards the benefit of telling that story. Um, in the environment of what is this situation? It's in the environment, look at this, swords, danger, truth, justice, rules, and law. The seven of swords is just that. And again, let me go back and give you a, uh, a cheat sheet uh, definition of this seven of swords. Seven of swords. Theft, betrayal, strategy, bad luck, espionage, obstacles, espionage. Oh my gosh, what are the chances that espionage would be one of the descriptions in here? So, uh, the uh, environment that this uh, this uh, act is in, is in um, theft and betrayal. The Trump uh, signature. That's the environment that it's in. Uh, the hopes and the fears for all of this in Chris Christie's journey. The hopes and the fears, look at this, it's a seven of pentacles. 
And the Seven of Pentacles is um, considering the value that you have. Is it enough? Okay. Is it the hopes is that it is enough and the fear is that it's not. Chris Christie, this is money-wise enough, it's career-wise enough, it's uh, my image enough, or it's not. That's the hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome of the whole thing about uh, this journey Christie is on of, of Trump truth-telling is, um, is right here, the Ace of Swords. So the outcome of this will be that this will be a journey that was worth having taken. Whether he becomes the Republican nominee, whether he becomes president, no, the, the, the purpose of this was to get the truth out there with a great big ace of swords, and it will be <clears throat> successful. I don't think I could embellish on this anymore. Very telling read, in my opinion. You tell me what yours is. Did you think it was going to work out like that? I wasn't sure if um, if the car, how the cards would tell the story, but of course they always do tell uh, a story, and it's interesting to follow it along. But I want to remind you, as I try, always try to do, is that let me know what your interpretations of the cards are, because that is 100% valid. You know, there's nothing magical about me or mystical about me. I'm just um, hoping that I can tap into some piece of the universe that uh, keeps this information, some sort of Akashic records uh, that tell us what's going on. And listen, I don't know that any of this it works or or is 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 true, but all I can say is that quite a bit of what uh, I draw the cards on and how I interpret them seems to uh, come out uh, fairly accurate given some time. And often, just the the way the cards um, lay out uh, just coincide perfectly with the question. So I hope that's how you felt. And remember, just tell me what you want me to read about, and I'll read about that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person, and uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him, um, but he was a circus performer, he went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well of the Clown College there, uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that, and then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, I think it's just you're missing out on a lot so you know this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot I love using these coming back tomorrow I'll be doing it all again so ciao for now